How can Earth's core be so hot without simply burning up the planet? Well, the best way to think of the Earth is like an onion. Every time you go down a certain amount of meters, you reach another layer. Starting from the top down, there's the crust, which includes the surface that we walk on. Then farther down, the mantle, which is mostly solid rock. Then even deeper, the outer core, made of liquid iron. And finally, the inner core, made of solid iron, probably. And with a radius that's about 70% the size of the moon's. The deeper you dive, the hotter it gets, until you reach the hottest spots at the center. Yet because of the existence of these layers, this inner heat is not able to penetrate all the way up to the planet's surface, saving us from our destruction. The Earth seemed to have picked up all this heat about 4.5 billion years ago. The first bit was inherited during our planet's formation. You see, the Earth was made from the solar nebula. This was a giant gassy cloud, and when the planets were forming, there were endless collisions and mergers between different rocks. This movement created enormous amounts of heat, and some of that heat was locked inside the Earth. The other heat source was the decay of radioactive isotopes. Distributed across the Earth, these tend to release energy underground, and along with the hot core and mantle, they provide the heat necessary to drive the motion of the Earth's plates. Now here's the crazy part. If the Earth's core had no heat, there would be no plate movement, and therefore no life. That's because without plates continuously moving, the Earth would have had a weaker atmosphere and would have been far colder than it is today. This would have in turn made human life impossible. So therefore, we owe a lot to our planet's super hot core.